Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a like cross server messaging type of system and stuff where like you can send messages across different servers. Now, just putting a disclaimer and stuff. This, on, like, um, actually, another thing about it, I'm not 100% sure if it works with like places outside of one experience. So, yeah, I don't think it works. I think like they have to be like all places of one experience. And if you don't understand what I'm saying, I'm meaning how testing YT is the main place. And then, like, it's the experience, but then we have another place inside, which is testing YT2, right? So the first screen, like the screen you guys see right now, is my uh, is the normal is the main testing place, right? I'm gonna show you guys that screen, then switch to the other screen when I send the message and stuff, right? But yeah, um, just wanted to thank you guys again for all the support you guys have shown on my videos and stuff. Got a big change coming to the channel tomorrow, so look, like, look out for that video. And yeah, let's get straight into it. It's honestly this video will be really simple. So head on over to server script service, insert a script. You can say you can say this is um send we'll say send message script. Great. And then let's do we gotta get the messaging service, so we'll do local MSG. No do game service messaging service. And then we'll do game dot players. The way I the way I'm going to make this work is we're going to do game.players.player add a connect function, which means it'll send this message every single time a player joins, right? So then we're going to do MSG. Then we're going to do publish async. And then our topic. Um, you, So you need a topic and stuff like that. So it pretty much is like it looks out for like what you're sending pretty much. This is the identifier like because obviously a lot of games have like different types of like messages they'll be sending across servers some maybe like when a player joins some maybe when a player i don't know equips a tool finishes a quest or you know i don't know a lot of different things so you need an, an identifier for it we'll call this a uh, player joined right then we'll put a comma here and then this is the data we're sending over the message we'll say right so what we're going to send over is the oh i forgot to put um plr right here which is short for player right in the parentheses then we're going to send over the player's name so player dot name then we do dot dot space then we'll do a space again say has joined right so it'll say the player's name then has joined right so we're done on that side right so I'm going to switch my screen so you guys can see the other side and boom okay there we go you guys can see it so now we're over here right so you want to head over to server script service once again insert a server script of course then you can say this um say this as receive message script receive message script right and then you pretty much want to do kind of what we did but a little different of course get the messaging service local msg is equal to game get service messaging service right but then here's where it's a little different you want to do msg right yeah, not dot sorry you want to do invoke wait not invoke sorry subscribe async sorry i'm so used to reading it but anyway so you want to do subscribe async then of course you want to type in the title make sure it's like just like it's spelled exactly how it's spelled over there so player join for ours right do a comma then we need to create a function so we're going to make this to a function so we'll do function right then put another parentheses then click enter right here Right, so you turn this into a function. Whenever the whenever uh, what's it called, it receives a message from the topic player joined. It will then proceed to do whatever we put here. So what we're gonna do is print. Oh, I forgot. So in the parentheses right here, put MSG, which is short for message. Right. Then we're gonna do a message, which is pretty much just printing the the data. Right. So then we're gonna click play here. Right, because this because it'll only work of course if we're in a server. So we're gonna click play here. Right. So obviously nothing is gonna happen as of yet because we haven't joined yet. Okay, now look. I'm gonna switch my window back over real quick to um our main place. Then I'm gonna click play. So I'm gonna click play, right? Obviously you won't see anything happen on our end. You also won't see anything happen like on the main game, right? So I join the game, right? Then I switch my window over to our second testing place, and as you guys can see. Right. Oh, let me switch over. Right here, right, we have some data that was sent. The data, which says my player, says my name, says has joined, and sent. It's like the time it was sent, and I have no idea what type of like conversion that is. But yeah, so let me see the time it was sent. Yeah, budget 19 has joined. So yeah, that's how you use cross messaging service and how you send 
messages across servers and stuff. As always, um, the scripts, both scripts will be in the description and stuff, so you guys can just reference that. Um, if you have any questions or, or suggestions, you leave that in the comments down below, or you can join my Discord server. Link is in the description, and my Roblox group is also in the description. I appreciate you guys for all the support y'all been showing. We almost had 300 subscribers, and we almost had 30 uh, Roblox group members. We're like at 31 Discord members, so keep running up the support. Like I said, I have a big announcement coming tomorrow. So, yeah. Stay on the lookout for that. And I'll see you guys. Appreciate y'all for watching. I'll see y'all.